Well, it was inevitable from the moment I started building the CNC that I wouldn't be able to leave well enough alone. So, the time has come to not leave well enough alone. <laughs> Let's see, I've, uh, I see my belt has slipped down again. Hmm. Do something to keep that from slipping down like that. <laughs> That's not the fix, by the way, just moving the belt up. Um, because I've taken the Uno, the Arduino Uno, off the side and I've mounted it to the back wall over there, the, the back wall of the uh, podium, for lack of a better name, of what that thing is. I'm going to move all my wiring from here to back here, because right about here on the wall is where the uh, the new control the control box and everything is now located. So I'm going to move all the wiring over there. So I'll save this for last, because all I have to do is just take that one screw out for that. So at this point, I am... Putting the M3 up on up on the lift, putting it up on jack stands. We should probably take that bit out of the spindle. I definitely don't want to rest on that bearing back there. So this job would be pretty easy, just unwrapping all this wire and running it out the back, if I hadn't used hot glue down here at these two places. But I did, because I'm a genius like that. So now I've got to chisel the hot glue out of there to get the wires out. Hey! Wow, that was easy. Well, learned something new. Hot glue and MDF. Sticks as long as you're not pulling on it. But if you pull on it, it comes right out. Well, that's good to know. I'll just get it to let go of that one wire. There we go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't bad. Here I was, expecting the worst. I'm always being the pessimist. Always being the pessimist, big man. That's what you get. Sometimes the universe throws you a softball right down the middle. So basically, if I decide to include this part in this video, if this part doesn't hit the cutting room floor, you could just go back and watch my earlier video where it shows me installing these wires and then just watch it in reverse because that is all that I'm doing. <laughs> So I have this old project box. I believe this is the project box from which I took this aluminum front plate off to use as the front plate in the truck for the wiper delay module. But anyway, found this old project box, mounted the Arduino Uno and the shield into it. Just using uh, some nylon standoffs and nylon screws in the back. Cut some uh, holes in the side. The USB. I didn't need this one for the power. I just cut it because the jack was sticking out right here. And so if I didn't, this would be in the way. 
and I didn't want to desolder this from the Uno because then if I needed to change the Uno, I'd have to desolder this from every Uno I would ever use. So I just cut a hole just to, so that would stick out and make them even, rather even. It's still cocked a little bit because of this standoff uh, uh, column over here, but it's good enough. And um, I never liked the fact that the fan had to go in and share this connection because that meant putting two wires in there and then clamping them down. And I've never liked that kind of deal. So I just ran the one heavier gauge wire out of holes in the bottom for power and then for uh, this larger one for the X, Y, and Z axis because it has a four pin header that has to go through there. And then this one will be for the X and the, the X, Y, and Z limit switches coming through here. Anyway, I ran the power out to here, hot glued the uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel adapter to the side of the box here. And then I wired in a JST jumper, soldered it into the uh, heavier gauge power lines, and then this will be for the fan. Plus that gives me a disconnect for the fan also. Um, because when I mount this, I'm gonna have to feed the wires through, plug everything in, and then mount the fan on top of it. So I didn't want the fan wired and dangling while I was doing that. So I snipped the wires a little shorter on the fan, wired a GST on the end of that, and that'll plug into that. So here's the solution I've come up with. Uh, I decided to mount the box completely over here to the right of my podium out of the way. Is the CNC sits right here. And I had to leave room enough for the uh, Y table, yes, I still have to think about it, to come back. And so I just decided I didn't want the box right there, which is where I was going to put it. And so the difference between there and here is just, you know, a few inches of cable. So I moved it over here to the right. Uh, and I like this better because it's out of the way. I mean, here's the door and we're coming in, but it's, it's right there out of the way. I'm going to use the only ones that are out here in the shop because I live such a lonely life. And so that's where I'm going to put it. So here, power supply for the speed for the spindle feeds into the speed control for the spindle knob to control the spindle, power output to the spindle that I have. And instead of having this plugged straight into it as it was, I just ran me some new heavy gauge wires from here over to over to this connector block. Forget what they call these. We'll call it terminal block, spade block, connector block. That runs over there, and then I'll connect this from the spindle to the other side of that. And it just gives me a little more slack. And it looks cooler. Maybe I'll put a couple of LEDs around it. I'll put a couple of LEDs up here to make it look even cooler. Yeah. I need LEDs. I gotta put LEDs on this project. I don't have any LEDs here yet. I gotta have a bunch of blinking LEDs. Got to, man. I'm pretty much finished with the mods. I've removed the Arduino from the side here. I, uh, have strain relieved this cables here. Here's the, uh, Z probe, got it hanging down here out of the way for when I need it. I've routed the um, the Y stepper motor and the Y limit switch underneath here, and that comes out right here into this notch where the X used to go. Strain relief that and just goes back to the box. X comes out of here, strain relieved it. There's its uh, corresponding limit switch cable. Strain relief up there and they go straight into the box. And then I've got Z coming off here. I got it up here just to kind of keep it out of the way, but it has plenty of uh, room for when we go to the far travel. It makes it all the way over there. And the strain release it a little bit. Comes down and goes straight into the box there. The box itself, she's not pretty, but I like it. Um, a bit of a tangled not tangled, but a bit unsightly here in the cables. But I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time getting them just perfectly cut to the right length and everything because I need to be able to move this around. 
Um, and so I left some extra in here and just wire tied that or actually Velcro tied that up out of the way so I have some slack where I can move it around. Um, so yeah, everything's feeding into there. Get your power coming in, splits off for the fan with a disconnect. I would mount the fan on this bracket on the wall here. This is a bracket from, an old, from a fire extinguisher to hold it up on the wall. Um, I chose this mounting because I didn't want the fan right down on top of the board here because these wires stick out a little bit and I didn't want to push them down and plus you know these got little heat sinks on them this fan blows here it doesn't have to be right on top of them uh, this will be plenty of plenty cooling and this is inside my office here within the shop out in the shop it can get up to you know 90 95 degrees during the heat the hottest part of the summer but in my shop here, it's air conditioned. It, it never gets over 77, 78 degrees in here at the, at the you know, when it's 95 degrees outside, 78 is as, cool, as hot as it gets in here. So that's going to be fine for the cooling. I'm not worried about the cooling. Um, so yeah, that's my setup there. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, look at that wiring. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know you like that. That strain relief. Going to the spindle. Oh, man. Oh, look at that red and black wire. Look at that old speaker wire. Speed control. Oh, oh man. Yeah, you know you like that, you sick mother f***er. Oh, oh overhead shot. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know you like that. You perp, you love it. Look at all that wire tucked under there. That little Z poke under there. Oh man, yeah.